P-Service PBX Cloud Edition is totally hosted on cloud. Just as any other cloud-based phone system, the integration with physical trunks, it's a tricky yet very common issue. As a lot of users have still subscribed to phone service based on local trunks, like analog, E1, and BRI lines. In this video, we will show you how to interconnect your analog lines to P-Service PBX Cloud Edition. Follow this video and you can do this easily. By the way, if you want to get a quick trial to test out this interconnection, but still don't have the Cloud PBX, you can click the link in our description to get a 30-day trial demo of our P-Service PBX Cloud Edition. Click and have a trial round. Okay, now let's get into the configuration. First of all, we'll need Yaystar FXO Ports Gateway to connect the analog trunk and P-Service Cloud Edition. We can choose any model of FXO Ports Gateway. Then we need to download a special firmware of the gateway and install it. Please go to the description of the video to download the gateway firmware. We can install the firmware of the gateway with HTTP or TFTP. We can also find a guide to realize the firmware renew from the description. Now we need to finish the physical connection of the gateway. First, connect the analog chunk to the FXO port of the gateway. And then connect the LAN port of gateway to the router. So that the gateway can get access to the internet. Now that we have upgraded the gateway and established network access, we can interconnect the P-Service PBX Cloud Edition to the gateway. First of all, create an account trunk on the PBX. Lock into the P-Service Cloud Edition. Click on Extension and Trunk. Then select Trunk. Here we need to add a new trunk. Name this trunk. Then in the trunk type, choose Account Trunk. Then move on to copy the username password, and authentication name. When finished, click on Save. Now log into the gateway and create a trunk pointing to the PBX. Go to Gateway and in VoIP settings, find VoIP trunk and click on Add New Trunk. In the pop-up page, select Trunking Trunk Type. Then in Type, choose SIP and name the trunk. Then we can put in the domain of our P-Service PBX Cloud Edition. We can directly copy it from the web browser. Then paste the username, password, and authentication name we copied from previous step. When finished, click on Save. Now with this step, the SIP trunking between the gateway and the Cloud PBX is established. We can go to the trunk page of the PBX to see the status. If they're connected correctly, it's time to set up the call routing between the PBX and Gateway. Firstly, we can set up the incoming call routing from Gateway to the PBX. Log in to the Gateway and in Route Settings, find Port to IP. First of all, name the route. Then in the call source, choose the port on which we connected our analog trunk. Then in call destination, we choose the trunk pointing to the PBX. Then in hotline, put in a number. This number will be used for DID, especially for the gateway. Here we take 99999 as an example. When we finish, click on Save. Now we can go to PBX to route the incoming calls from gateway to our desired destination. Create an inbound route. Name it. And in the DID pattern, put in the hotline number from our last step. Then in trunks, we select the account trunk pointing to our gateway. Then in the destination, we can pick the destination for our incoming calls. Here we can choose IVR or other destination as we wish. Now if there's an incoming call from our analog trunk, the call will be sent from the trunk to the gateway and delivered to the call PBX, and eventually reach the destination according to our configuration. Now we can set up an outbound route from the PBX to the analog trunk. We can start by creating an outbound route in our Cloud PBX. Go to Call Control and in the outbound route, click on Add. Name it. And then set up the pattern as needed. Then in Trunks, we choose the account trunk we created for the gateway. Then in Extensions, we can include any extension and department as we want. When everything's done, click on Save. Then we go to the Gateway Web GUI. In Route Settings, click on IP to port. In the pop-up page, disable the simple mode. Then name this route. 
Then in call source, choose the chunk we created for the cloud PBX. Then in call destination, choose the FXO port with our analog chunk connected. Then we can click save to finish the setting. Now we have finished our outbound route, so if we want to make a call through our analog chunk, we can dial the outbound number and have the call sent out by the gateway directly. This is how we realize the interconnection between the analog chunk and P-Series PBX Cloud Edition, and make phone calls with it, of course. All right, hope you like it. Need more details about Yaystar solutions? Don't forget to visit yaystar.com, and I will catch you guys in the next one.